Let's see what these strange guys are all about. Hmm. A wind map is a strange concept. Mapping but the wind. In its own weird way, it sort of makes sense. True, true. All right, guys. What kind of characters are you then? What are you doing here? Oh, look, gentlemen, we have a visitor. Oh, look. Great. <laughs> are you by chance the cleaning lady? We call cleaning. It? Cleaning lady. You're going camping. You can start right there in the back. It's been years since it's last been swept. That's what she May said. I ask what you're doing? Uh, Archaeological uh, 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 research. Uh, 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 uh. What does that mean? You don't know. Vams, don't be so hard on her. She's just the cleaning lady. Huh. I can't believe it. She's never heard of aerology. I don't like these guys. <laughs> but I want to know about Pander. Yeah. Do you know the crazy old guy in the tree? That's house? his name? Great. Oh, that guy. You have to watch out. That guy is dangerous. If you don't pander to him, yes. he just really just goes nuts. Pass him, but he always sends a scattering. We had to leave our fourth buddy behind. Oh my god, the guy that we saw oh, in the treehouse. Mm. But the old guy is oh. almost deaf, nearly blind, and probably a thousand years old. And you're three people. Are you implying that we should have used violence? Poof. I mean, we've tried, but he's vastly superior in strength. Yes, that's not just an old guy. He's a trained killer without any conscience. Okay, we is he? Simon just like all the wind monks. Simon was such a good guy. Poor Simon. But we expect him to return any day now. What? Well then, good luck. Y yeah. Is a ghost? Nah, he's gone, man. So, you're missing a friend? Yes, his name was Simon. Is! His name is Simon! I refuse to give up. Nah, he's dead. Well, he didn't return from his expedition. Not yet. All that we have left of him... Will be left. Whatever. He was a genius and a gentleman. He invented this globe here, for example. Can I have it? You'd have to rip it out uh, of uh, my cold, dead hands. <gasps> All right. Interesting suggestion. I like that Laura's just like, can I have that thing you mentioned? I actually don't need it anymore. But Lance drinks his root coladas out of it. Is that like a root beer uh, float? It's possible to stick straws into the wind fountain holes. Also, Simon probably wants it back when he comes home. So... No. Is that what our read's for? Yeah, maybe. Um, psh, let's talk about what your stupid science. <laughs> is that some kind of religion? Religion? <laughs> Aerology. Science is like science religion the in that it's. It's a difficult. They like thing. tend to not like each yes, other. Sir. <laughs> religion is for weak spirits and holidays. Oh my! Oh, calling we you out. The gods religion. With gauges. Are you talking about that box back there? Box? Tola, did she just call it a box? Is your name Tola? Oh yes, I think I heard it too. Is that weird? So, please. It's kind box. of a weird name. Uh. This complicated apparatus sends out analog impulse vehicles. Oh, uh, okay. Which we use to precisely analyze the wind. That sounds useful. Uh. And then we draw these winds onto the map. Okay. The Erica Charter. Oh, you're here too. I see. To I'm more interested in the box. Yeah, tell us about your machine. Your sophisticated machine doesn't move. It ran out of fuel. Besides, our friend poured honey into the tank. And I would do it again. Uh, we know that. Just go back to sleep. And he's really drunk. Drunk on honey. How does your machine work? It's very complex. A little uh. too complex for a maid. Well, the machine strategically sends out small paper impulse vehicles into previously determined. So it shoots paper airplanes. Oh, it's able you're right. To engineer this itself. So it spits out paper planes. Correct. My goodness, have you ever thought of switching <sighs> professions? And with these paper planes, you can determine wind current. Exactly. But unfortunately, we hadn't yet discovered any flow paths before the machine broke down. That's a shame. You mean before the sleeping guy poured honey in the tank? Correct again. We're geniuses. What kind of fuel mm -hmm. does the machine take? It works off a semi-solid combination of coarse-grained materials. So, mud. Well, you mix swamp water and sand. And you get mud. But the correct mix ratio is difficult to obtain. 50-50? Damn. 
So These guys are not are actually sure that smart. The on the map? Yeah. Exactly. We believe that they reveal something. Or slash Laura is actually really Hard smart. Dare to think about it, but it could be that there's a spot in the forest, a wind fountain, where there's another wind fountain. That would be unbelievable. If the map is completed, you could determine where it is. Of course, we are aerologists. Of course, we're scientists, honey. <laughs> What's wrong with that guy? He's drunk. How long have you been working on that map? How long? One year, two years, ten years? Since last Tuesday. Oh, I don't know. I'm able to pinpoint winds exactly, but I never know what time it is. Uh, so wait, they've been out of here a week, and yeah. Simon's already been reduced to a skeleton? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, the crazy how it goes. The crazy my companion. If we go together... We could maybe save him and your friend. Sounds great. But, uh, I can't leave the station alone. Uh, and I have to uh, do the laundry today. Tumble mice are underestimated. Great. I'm stuck in a forest with idiots. Yes. That's a pretty good summary. When she was in the city, she was kind of stuck with idiots there, too. Have you ever thought about, well, oh, the filling life. it up with new mud? Do you think we're crazy? Um, no... No, the only swamp is guarded by a gorf. And we'd also have to pass the crazy wind monk. I've been walking around here for quite a while. And nothing has happened to you yet? No, I've happened to others. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we got to get some all right, swamp. All right. I'm, to I'm ready to go ha, look oh, for some mud. Uh, before I forget, if you make the beds, could you... Maybe put little chocolate mints on the pillows. I'm wow. gonna put little oh, yes. chocolate fists in your those. face. <laughs> Maybe I could just put a dead tumble mouse under your blanket. I love tumble mice. Th that's good to know. I like how that guy snapped his little bow tie. Okay, all right. Where's in the tent? A tent? Those wimps. The last time I was camping, I slept in a ditch, and it was raining. Okay, we get it, Laura. You're very tough. You're super tough. No, it smells weird in there. I'm not going in. Okay, fine. All right, so we gotta do a swamp mud. But what do we put it in? It's freaking me out. Yeah. Um, that's true. We need a receptacle of some kind. Maybe that guy's pouch. I don't know. Hey, Gorf. Did he not even talk to us? He it's can, if we anymore. want to. Oh. Probably. You say different Ew. things? There really are some disgusting creatures in this forest. Oh, be nice. These creatures happen to have ears and feelings that can be heard. Aww. What kind of funny animal are you? Excuse me. Your companion was a lot nicer than you, young lady. Besides, funny is the wrong word. Unless you find it amusing when a living creature dies a gruesome death. The, sometimes, sometimes, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, swamp. Let's talk about mud. That's all we care about. Disgusting, stinky mud hole. Thanks. It's my home. It's no palace, but it's all mine. Holy crap! You live here? <laughs> Absolutely. This area offers so many creative possibilities. Sure, I can see that. How? Oh, a lot of stuff has sunken here. A vase, uh, an old pair of underwear, <laughs> and uh, more arrows than I can count. Hmm. I'm back by those stalks that look like fir leaves and that crazy tree guy's glasses. Ooh. Glasses, Who you say? Those? The old guy's glasses are in the swamp? Yes, glasses are commonly used <laughs> for reading books. <laughs> Do you know what a book is? Of course, a jerk. Are you sure that you're a rational amphibian and not a threatened by extinction because you couldn't shut up amphibian? Trust me. Contrary to you, I've studied. Well, we just want the glasses, man. Yeah, are you sure the we don't need to discuss your resume. Here? That's not for those are arrows. The old man dropped his glasses and started shooting out of anger. What arrow is he talking about? Unsure. Maybe he's reaching the swamp. You can just get it. <laughs> How do you know where all the objects have sunken? Well, there's not much going on here. It's true. If something falls into the swamp, 
It's a memorable event. So you just sit here and look around all day? Well, the way you put it, it doesn't sound like a very inspiring activity. I just meant that it sounds really boring. Uh, I know. The Gorf is actually living a very depressing life. Yep. What's so dangerous about you? I am to belong to the extremely dangerous species of Gorf. Yeah, yeah, we know all this. We belong to the Yeah, whatever. Oh, I see. I should have asked this first. Which means... I've already explained this to your husband. <laughs> oh. Uh, poisons compose about 96% of my body. Except for this spot on my head. That's just really itchy. That's Did cute. Did you just say husband? Yes. And that I could kill you <laughs> He's not my husband. What makes you think that? Hello? I'm a cold-blooded killer. I'm not married. Then I have a dry spot on my head. We all have our problems. <laughs> okay, let's put our hand. Ooh, spot. What? A dry spot? Yes, I have very sensitive skin. It's itching like crazy and I can't scratch it. Oh, myself. we'll scratch it for you. Mm. But I've already told your husband this. Stop saying that. I've only known him for half an hour. Oh, don't you think Marion was a little hasty then? <laughs> womp, womp, womp. For the last time, he's not my husband. And if you say that one more time, that itchy spot on your head will be the least of your problems. Ooh, no reason to fly off the handle, young lady. I'm somewhat irritable because my head is itchy. I'll scratch it for well, you. You rational amphibian, why don't you put something on it? What do you suggest? I don't know. Lotion? Lotion, please! Uh, <laughs> I only use homeopathic remedies. Oh, dear. Come on. You just made that word up. <laughs> yeah, but overall, it's a good uh -huh. idea. For such a primitive being, you don't seem to be that stupid. Watch it. Uh. Would you be in a better mood if that spot wasn't so itchy? Just itch it. Yeah, just well, do it. So, but I can't scratch myself. We know. Would you mind? I'd rather stick my hand in boiling water. <laughs> what do you say that? The effect would be about the same. Oh, so we can't even do it, so it doesn't matter. Still more things Why don't to you say. Some ointment or something. I can't leave this place! As I told your husband. He's not my husband. My claws sink into yes. nearly every hard surface and then I can barely move. We know. But perhaps you could possibly find a person selling makeup in this forest? <laughs> All right. Okay. okay, that was it. Just the same thing over and over again. Do you happen to know anything about the crazy old guy who lives? Well, up he's in crazy. Tree? He's old, oh, and he lives up in the tree. The old man that lured <laughs> your husband into the trap. <laughs> he's not my husband, and yes, <laughs> the joke will well, never actually get old. I'm, I'm enjoying it still. Yeah. Very aggressive. You two would probably get on well. Funny. I don't know much about him. He grumbles quietly to himself while setting up traps. Uh, he's almost deaf. And nearly blind since his glasses fell into the swamp. Mm. Huh. The lunatic is a wind monk? That's not surprising. They can't be trusted. Are you talking to me? <laughs> no, you can't <laughs> trust a gorf either. I only just realized what a gorf was a few minutes ago, but I've decided you cannot trust Enough. them. I'll be going That's back. how racism works. Oh, I see. You'll be back. Uh, Don't think I didn't uh, notice the sensual tension between us. Wow. Mm. You, uh, excuse me. Wow. I'm married, according to you. I actually feel too sick to puke. Okay. Recursive nausea, they call that. We can. So is it this yeah, spot in the swamps? Yeah, I see. The Gorf said a pair of glasses sank here. I wonder what else is hidden in the depths of the swamp. We just go digging? Definitely not leeches. I'm supposed to rummage through that stinky swamp with my bare hands until I find something? Yeah. Great idea. The answer is no. What? Jeez, come on, prissy pants. Yes, I, I can feel the glasses just like the Gorf said I would. Oh, great. But I can't pull them out. You can't? No, I stirred around, so we need to attach something to the reed. Can we get that thorn thing out? That He had to use Conrad to do it, and it doesn't seem to be selectable oh, anymore. Oh, I see. Okay. 
So something else somewhere. The well's getting darker and darker. The setting sun. How sad. I don't think there is a sun. It's all the wind. Oh. And the phosphoses. Oh, you're right. Oh, Conroy's waiting there to kill me. <laughs> all right, we're not going there then. Okay. Dry spot. Rub it. Looks dry. I definitely wouldn't touch it with my bare hands. Can you scratch that with the reed? Sounds good. Hey! Don't scratch. Uh. Okay. Not a good idea. All right. Well, that didn't do much. They got me an achievement, but it was one of those achievements for doing the wrong thing. Ew. She doesn't want to touch anything. What good would that do? I'll dig around. Should I stir it? Yeah. Yeah. Stir it up. He <laughs> make it delicious, like a soup. All right. So let's go back and look. There's gonna be something else we're missing. We can go up to the treehouse. Up, up, up. And we've got this reed, but I don't know. That's about all we've acquired. Yeah. Can we use it on the arrow? Yeah, no. It's definitely their buddy up there. It's dead. Absolutely. Yeah. Really? Okay, so we can't do anything with that. Not a good idea. I was thinking if we could grab the bag. Yeah. We could show it to their friends. What a strange hat. The guy had an interesting sense of style. Very specific sense of style. <laughs> that would be impossible to confuse for anyone else. It. Do you think we needed... The... I'm gonna keep talking to Robert. If you can hear me, give me a secret Let's see sign. See if the hook... Okay, what's the secret sign? So I think this is gonna cause the rope to keep doing that. Oh, oh the hook fell. We needed the hook to get the glasses oh, out. If someone to talk to, it would have caught a parrot. Laura, help. That's I'm what's sorry. Up. I actually thought the rope would snap. And then what? I would have just fallen down. Yes, but you would have fallen into the soft swamplands. Correct. Okay. Quiet! Don't you have any respect for a wind fountain, Guardian? Very little. <laughs> All right, okay. Clearly... We understand now. We find this hook, we hook it up to the reed... We get the glasses. We get the girl. Yes. Or whatever, whatever it is we're doing. I don't remember. <laughs> whatever the prize actually is. I think it's like... Oh, yeah. We have a reed ants. with a hook. I think we're winning some screaming ants. Now we can perform some dentistry. Oh, stick it in there. See what's up. Clean out all the plaque. Ha, gotcha. Wow. Apparently someone stuck two big magnifying glasses oh, together. That's the best. Looks as if someone... Okay, same joke. So what do we do with Do we those? just give it to him? I don't think we want his eyes to get better. I don't need glasses. We need them for something. Do we give them to one of these other guys? Maybe let's go talk to them again, see if there's something over there for us to do. I feel like we haven't... Like, we got the glasses. Ugh. <laughs> Here, I have some glasses. That explains a lot. Oh, she can see them. Oh, you, wow, what a... What can I use to transport it? Ah, uh, the little box! You're coming with me. This is... Oh, my God! You I'm quietly screaming pillbox. What do you need that for? I don't need them anymore. Uh, oh, no? that's just what they were for? So we are not giving them back to the old man. Okay, so now we have a screaming ant. We have a screaming ant, we have a hook. That will presumably be used for something else eventually. So that's what Asposia looks like from the outside? Bunch of dirt. But what outside would that be? And who could have ever seen the world from out there? Maybe a mole that is able to look through the earth. I guess it's a good point that there it's would not be... Globe, okay? An abstract reproduction. Uh, there would not be much of a globe in a world that is so <laughs> very different from our own. That's true. Screaming ant, do you put it in the thing up in the top there? There is a screaming ant nest. Nest, yeah. 
Maybe so that'll, that'll make the guy that'll, freak that'll, out. Uh, maybe he'll shoot an arrow up higher, and we'll be able to get in there. Come on, go home. Yeah. So now we'll be able to climb up them. Yup. Did he kill the ant? Uh, I have to admit that was impressive. He sh uh, shot the ant. Uh. Oh man. Okay, but we're up here now. All right. It's we good should money probably bag. not make any noise. What do we have here? Did money. Did you want to bring something with you into the afterworld? Well, not anymore. Don't rob the dead. A pointer. A pointer. For extended pointing. Hmm. Useful. We get his hat. Oops. Oh. <laughs> we got a little more oh. than the hat. That'd make a great paperweight. She's so casual about it. She doesn't even care that she has like a skull. Seriously. <laughs> okay. You put on the hook. No fooling around. Yeah. All right, let's poke Robert. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. I think that was a good idea. Okay. Unfortunately. Oh, put it's the too far put away. the skull in there. He can't hear you. Nope. Ah, that this was is not a bad idea. Can I just point it away? Yeah. Can I hook it? There's some moss over here. I just noticed. Not a good idea. Oh, moss. Maybe that can go in there. Soft, wet, root forest moss. Yeah. Hmm. Can we combine it with something? If I could reach him, just a little push. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't draw his uh, attention to me. That's probably wise. Okay. Oh, the clothesline! Use the hook there. You can slide down it. Oh, uh, maybe. Just that how the movies do it. Yeah. Ah. It's a good idea. All my ideas are good. I like the way you're Every thinking. Every one of my ideas is fantastic. Oh, there's a bunch of flies here now. Oh, flies. They're hoping to find something to eat. Moss? <laughs> Slowly, but surely, you're getting desperate, huh? Yeah, a little sorry. Put the head back. Nice idea, but nice is not good enough. Um, all right, all right, all right. Let's go show the head to the friends. Oh, yeah. I want to traumatize them. That'd I want to traumatize good. them good. That, don't see how that could make anyone have nightmares. Go for it. So I found the skull. Hey, guys. Hey, I have good news. <laughs> You're missing your friend, right? Wonderful news. Simon, yes? Yes. I found him. Oh, my. No! Aw. Terrible despair. You're welcome. Hey, now you don't need the globe anymore, right? Yes, here. Take it. Simon. Thanks. <sighs> wow. They put his head there. Ah, oh, it opens. That's what I thought. Is this what we're going to put swamp water in? Wow, I can even recognize the Mercator. And the wind fountains are holes. There are holes in it. Let's patch it up. No? Ah, yes, yes, correct. Fill the holes. Now we have a bowl. Sealed half of a globe. It's patched up. The fountains are sealed. Neat. So we're going to need to use this. This is our receptacle to put mud and stuff in. Ready for it. Ah, One yes. Bowl of stinky swamp water should be enough. Oh, we need the dirt in the other. Oh, we use 50, the uh, we 50. use the the skid yeah, mark over here. Yeah, fifty fifty. Slowly, but sure. What? No, that's totally the thing, right? Unless we use this over here. No. Where hmm. else is the mud? Oh, we can use this to scratch his dry spot, though. No? Oh. I thought you wanted to be scratched, buddy. I guess not. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Hey! No, <laughs> Alright. So, we need mud, but... 
Hmm. Maybe we don't. Maybe swamp water is just. We we'll just put it on both ends. She's gonna be like, "No, you already have this." I'm already carrying enough swamp. Yeah, I know. All right. Realize. Okay. I could have sworn that like. I thought it made sense too. I can't do anything with bare hands. You need she a wants shovel? us to do it. I swear. Ah. Oh, golden vine. Oh no. It's only sand. That's it. That's so weird, but okay. Yeah, okay. You whatever. had to like dig it with a stick. I feel now like that I have sand and swamp water, I think I'm all set. I bet you people struggled with that because that just seems Yeah, that was all shot in the dark, but it worked pretty well. Alright, so we've combined them And now you have to We've got right. mud. Great mud. Now what? Well obviously, I think. I think that's the clear part <laughs> of the think, puzzle. I think that's obvious as well. I kind of want to set this back and see what happens if we shoot stuff at the gort. Now Wait. it's aiming somewhere into the forest. Oh. Now it's aiming at the strange animal on the edge of the forest. Do you want to kill the gorf? It's just going to shoot paper planes at him. It's not going to kill him. Oh. The tank is full of honey. How on earth do you come up with the idea of pouring <sighs> honey into a tank? Isn't that a prank you pull on people? Oh, do we have to get the honey out? My mm. hand doesn't fit into the tank. Can we hook the honey? It might work if I use the reed. Oh, we need the reed back. Oh. Oh. Have a little honey snack. I guess you have the reed still. That was weird. Mmm. Yummy. Gulp. <laughs> good, good job drinking I that. I would think that would still have some mud in it. So that would not be the tastiest honey. Ready to I question her decision there. She's like, All I right. don't want to touch things. Let's see what They're this does. Gross. Let me suck up this honey mud. Oh, it shoots all the directions. <gasps> Look at Tumble Mouse. Tumble Mouse. Huh. A new arrow. Oh my gosh! She really did it! The maid fixed our machine. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Yes, Fiona is a beautiful name for a dog. That's true. It's alright. data for our map. <laughs> now we only need two more results. Oops. I think I have to press the button more carefully. Well, it got us an arrow. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Now it's aiming at the strange animal. Let's start it from here and see if anything now different happens. Okay. Now it's aiming at the crazy okay. man in the treehouse. I guess not. Hmm. Doesn't seem like that worked. All right. Get that arrow. We gotta get it for something. Most likely. An arrow. Maybe this is what we use to scratch his head. I'm not really sure if that's even actually something we're trying to accomplish anymore. I haven't figured it out either. He doesn't. He doesn't want it. He's trying to help you out, buddy. So what right. do we do with our arrow? We have a lot of things that could be combined. The tip is blunt. The wood is fraying, and the feathers look like a toilet brush. The pointer fits perfectly into the <gasps> end of the reed. Ooh. We made it longer. Are we gonna make a fishing pole <laughs> with this hook? Slowly, but surely. Ah, that worked. Read with pointer and hook. You just try to scratch him again? That's a good example for... Alright, alright. This is longer. <laughs> it probably won't make scratch a difference. Scratch him. Hey! <laughs> Don't scratch. Fine, 
funny. We obviously don't have to do that, but it's funny that we keep doing it. <laughs> He's just like, why you keep so scratching So I wonder if we me? can reach other things now that we have a longer thing. Huh. Right? Maybe? Possible. Oh, you just climb all the way up now. Interesting. <laughs> I love how he's just kind of like... That's a good example. Just staring off into nothingness. Yeah. His eyes. Maybe I shouldn't draw huh. his attention. Robert. No fooling around. Um, maybe now you can do it on the line. It seems dangerous to me, but... That's a good example Why? for... Hmm. Can you see the arrow on it? Maybe I should... Just throw the arrow at him. <laughs> I was thinking the arrow on the line, maybe you cut the clothesline and get the string. Hmm. Nice idea. No. That's... What was in the money bag? Oh, the it will be empty in... Other than that, there is nothing in the... Oh, okay. Um, what did we get in it? Oh, we got the pointer in it. He had a little... That's right, he had the pointer. That's right. There was no money. So what do we pointer. do with this thing? We have a crazy hook. A pretty crazy hook. It's nuts. But I don't know how we use it. It's now. Aim it into the random port in the forest okay. and use it and see if it... Give us more data. I think we already got that data point. Yeah. Another paper plane. Friends, I detect that we've already recorded this data. So oh. there's three things in Recorder we need to get. One of them right. we can get, but the other ones are being blocked uh -oh. by the Gorf. What can you do with the exhaust pipe? Oh, maybe we can get the tumble mouse. He's like stuck. Ah. <laughs> I like them. I don't know what they're for in life. I don't know how they it exist. Looks frightened. Can you put that in the exhaust pipe? Oh my gosh. You can, can't you? What? The poor tumble mouse. Besides, the damn thing doesn't fit in there. <laughs> I was gonna. Oh, it's a good thing. I think it's funny that she knew I wanted to do that. Hmm. Can we put the tumble mouse on the hook? Yeah. Okay. Nope. Okay. We have a tumble mouse. Feed him to the gorf. You want to feed him to the gorf? I want to feed everything to the gorf. Okay. Maybe he'll leave and then we can get the poop plane so he won't eat it. Do you still need that? Maybe. Maybe we can scratch him with the mouse. Okay. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Dip him in the swamp. Yeah. No. Okay, we have a mouse. What do we do with him? I don't know. Maybe this is a good time <laughs> for our viewers at home to recommend. <laughs> I think we've progressed pretty far in this puzzle. We've done some really cool things and... A and lot of it's been with tumble mice. It's, so, it's so close. It's just out of our grasp. What do we use this tumble mouse for? How do we save Robert? Is Do we really want to when we could just keep playing the lovely Lara for the rest of the game? You guys know how I feel about that. Um, le Leave a like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. But more importantly, help. Yeah, help us. Thanks. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time when we <laughs> hopefully get out of this friggin' swamp. <laughs> Bye.